Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you are all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What is going on right now in your current situation with you and the external energies around you. Or it could be somebody that's on your mind. But whenever you do see this will be the right time. And as always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. If you are interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I'm Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And all information for personal readings is in the description box. All right, Sagittarius. I am picking up that I'm hearing beauty so it feels like you're doing something different to yourself um, cosmetic or something to your hair is different but I'm hearing also people see you as someone who's very beautiful or handsome very attractive but I'm also Picking up that you're about to come across somebody who is very, very beautiful or handsome. You're going to find this person very attractive. And I'm seeing seeing someone again. Or that's what I'm hearing. You're, you're about to see somebody again. It feels like something had come to a stop. Um, a situation that kind of came to a stalemate. There was indecision. You may have felt indecisive about something. Um... Something had been blocked. Maybe you blocked someone. But it feels like something had come to a stop with you and someone. But I'm hearing counterpart. It feels like things had come to a stop with you and a counterpart. Because a door had to open for there to be success. So success expands in your life. Gates of triumph. Yeah. It feels like... You've been connecting with your emotions, feeling your emotions and your intuition, connecting with your psychic abilities. I'm seeing that you step into this energy where you're more um, connected or open to um, opening up your heart to other people. And I'm seeing with this standing stone, it's like you... This is, again, that decision. There was a decision that you had to make about a person. And I'm seeing that your intentions was to... Ha like, st I'm seeing starting to think. Starting to think about what your priority was going to be. Because I, I see that you have been in this energy where maybe you've just been working a lot but at the same time you've kind of left people out you haven't let people in to your life um or get you didn't allow people to kind of get close to you like there's this barrier with that door and this person so it feels like you've started to consider like maybe i should like open up my heart or maybe i should um be more empathetic or nurturing there's this person around you who you have viewed as like being somebody who takes risks and maybe you even see this person as somebody where they still haven't put an end to a situation. So death reverse something with this person still hasn't completely ended. I'm seeing that you're going to get into this energy where possibly where you're going to be kind of like rethinking whether or not you can trust this person or whether or not you two could like work together here trying to figure out how to how to change um things so that they're not at a stalemate but it feels like you're letting go of control, so surrendering to the journey. Going with the flow of things. 
even if there's like a weird vibe so it feels like there's some sort of weird vibe between you and someone or tension like something like the energy with you and this person is just off you may look at it that way and feel like something is off but you are not trying to force anything or you're not trying to force this person to talk to you or, or to like tell you the truth about something you're just letting go of control and, and going with the flow but it feels like you're not going to give to this person yeah it feels like you're not willing to give to this person or you have nothing else to give to them right now or you're just not ready to do that at this moment because you view this person as still being in, in an emotional space where they need to leave something behind. I'm seeing people. It feels like this person is um, walking away from, from two or three other people possibly. Maybe this person is like dating other people or seeing other people for some reason. Um, but they're needing to walk away. And so it feels like you're a little defensive. But Four of Cups Reverse wanted to come out. An offer that still hasn't been, that you still haven't like taken off the table for sure. It's like, it's still kind of there. It's still a possibility. So I see you contemplating whether or not you can really trust this person. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, contemplating and thinking but not willing to take action towards them, feeling like you just can't give more. So let's take a look at this person around you. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It feels like that either this person has communicated immaturely or they're just like watching you. So there could be little to no communication with this person. But it does feel like they're they're observing you. Looking for clarity. I'm hearing confused. This person is confused about something. About a person. Cold. It feels like this person is giving off this cold energy. Like unemotional. Like unresponsive. And so the energy is just weird. And it's because you've stopped giving to this person that they're feeling this way. Because they see you as a six of pentacles reverse. Because you've stopped giving to them, now all of a sudden they're like um, unresponsive. They, the actions that they want to take, though, is like they want to make things right or make things better. I'm, I'm also picking up like this is someone stubborn, real stubborn. But they are, their intentions is to kind of, they're like working on, on an offer, possibly. Or trying to make an effort. So this person wants to make some sort of effort towards you. And nurture the situation towards like a new beginning. Or get to know you more. Learn more about you. But I'm picking up that they are still releasing themselves from uh, like other, other people. But I see them wanting to reconnect with you. Because they've, they've noticed that your, your energy is different and you're not giving to them like how you used to. So it feels like um, within the flow, again, like all this like snow, it feels like they're just like cold right now. Or they look at the situation like it's cold. There's just like no love. Everything is smooth sailing though. So it feels like they want to get to a place where things are smooth sailing with you. And things can actually flow. But it's just this cold energy. <laughs> like from the both of you.
first light. They are beginning a new cycle. So they want to begin a new cycle. It looks like they're starting to see the light or they're starting to get some clarity here. Um, walk in beauty. So they want to walk towards you. I feel like they're taking their time to come towards you. Yeah, valiant courage. Take action with passion. They want to they wanna make a move. And they're coming towards you intense. <laughs> Real intense. Because it kind of feels like they're upset. All of, they, they got used to the energy that you used to give them. Or also, I am also picking up that like, they're upset that things have came to a stop or a stalemate. They're also upset about that. And now there's this weird energy. Six of Swords, moving forward. So, I do see that you're going to be able to move forward from this situation. It feels like you two are going to be able to move past this weird energy. So, a weird time. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of like new spark. Like a new uh, passionate beginning. So things are about to get intense. Yeah, there's going to be a change. So things are going to change. It's not going to stay the same. Um, there's going to be a new cycle here. And I see you also making adjustments, making changes. I'm hearing compromise. So some sort of compromise and risk that you end up taking. I'm seeing tra uh, travel. You may be taking a risk to travel somewhere. Right? So, ooh. Yeah. This person's about to, like, I'm seeing someone new. Someone new coming into your life. A new friendship, a new relationship. But this person's about to open up their heart to you. And also, if it is the same person, they're coming towards you kind of different, like new. They were cold, but now you're gonna you're gonna see this a change in this person's like um like they're gonna be more emotional to you. They're gonna open up their heart to you in a new way. So they're gonna show you emotion and love. And I see that if this person has given to other people, they're gonna stop giving to those other people. They're gonna open up to you. So I'm hearing um that someone's coming towards you three of wands you may be waiting right now or you may be like preparing or expecting something so right now is just the time to lie back rest and relax because things are going to work out you're going to feel very uh happy and grateful for what's coming towards you through gratitude joy expands Peace. So there's going to be a peaceful outcome here. Um, rejuvenating rain. Clearing the past and healing the present. And beginning a new cycle. Clarity. Seeing the light. Choosing your path. All is possible. So you're going to um, realize that whatever path you go on, any path is going to be possible for you. The choice is going to be yours, is what I'm hearing. At the bottom of the deck, we have uh, crossing bridges. So somebody wants to build a bridge with you. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and re releasing. A lot of healing energy. Healing the past and moving forward, moving on from it. I'm picking up on the number two, five, six, three, the letters G, T, I, F, S, J, G, W, C. So those numbers or letters um, may resonate. The numbers could be date, birth dates, or the letters could be either in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm picking up. This is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.